my dear listeners, thank you so much for the opportunity. My name is Babu Evans from Kenya. I would like to give some kind of a short story that I want you to listen keenly and get a lesson to the same. There was two families that were staying together, neighboring each other. So one family was a family that was able. So they had connected Wi-Fi, as you know, 21st century, which is one of the needs in the family or in the home. The other one, they didn't have a Wi-Fi. But fortunately or unfortunately, the other one was able to access the password for the internet or for the Wi-Fi from the other family. So every day, they used to use the Wi-Fi, but without the knowledge of the one. So it went on and on and on. But because the other family where they didn't have the Wi-Fi, they were Christians. He felt one day that what he was doing was bad. So one evening, when the man to the family that was having Wi-Fi came in, the neighbor discovered that he had come in. So he decided to write a message. And he wrote this message in Swahili. And this is how the message was. Jambo jirani. Naomba msamaha sana. Maana kila siku ulipokuwa ukiondoka. Nimekuwa nikitumia wifi yako. Kwa hivyo naomba ulisame kwa kutumia wifi yako. Kila siku bila kukujuza. So the message went. The other colleague opened. You know, when the message comes in, we have different messaging forms that actually the tones that comes about to ensure that the owner of the phone gets the message. So he had, he had it, opened the phone. But this is how he read. The translation of that message in English is that, I'm sorry, my friend. I have been using the Wi-Fi every day without your knowledge. Any time you used to live, I use your Wi-Fi. So I want you to forgive me for doing that. But now, what the other one understood was a bit different. He understood that pole rafiki yangu nimekuwa nikitumia wife wako as the Sheng puts it, Kila Napo Ndoka. Translation I am sorry, my neighbor, that I have been using your wife, wife with quotes, every time you leave. So, with him, he didn't see or he didn't read it well as Wi Fi, he read it as wife. It got into his mind so hard. And it really frustrated him. He went one by one to the wife who was in the bedroom. Very furious. Ready to beat her up. Went and got hold her. He held her at the neck. The wife was like, what is the problem, my husband? How do you come in with war? You've not even greeted me. What's the problem? He slapped her. But she was patient. She asked him to explain why he was doing like that. When he stretched his hand to give to her the phone to read the message, then the wife read the message. The message was very clear. That, sorry, my neighbor, I have been losing your Wi-Fi every time you so I ask that you forgive me for that because I was doing it without your knowledge. What do we learn from this? The husband was a bit ashamed 
One, he took himself as illiterate because he could not be able to read clearly and interpret what the message was talking yeah. about. Two, I like the wife because she was very patient and she was able to cool down not to start fighting back. She was cool. What do we learn from this? One, patience in marriage. Two, taking time before you make a decision. Three, once you love, you have loved. So trust each one. For us to sum up generally, trust. Many at times, even messages come that are not even related to what you think it is. Many at times, a phone, a mobile phone, can cause a lot of problems in the house. But love, patience, understanding stands out for the marriages that are God given. Ensure that you bound and unfold. Cover up your marriage with the trust in the Lord, trust in each other, patience. Have patience, have patience with each other, and everything will be okay with you. This is Bob Evans from Kenya. Thank you so much. God bless you all.